Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today I'm going to show you how to use a color chart with the color match system. I use the X-Rite Color Checker Passport Video. Uh, this sells for like $148 on Amazon. It has the color chart, an exposure chart, a focus chart. Uh, it's a handy, handy little tool that I keep with me all the time, and you can use this to very, very quickly get a good color grade going, or at least a baseline before you do any um, stylized look that you wanna do. If you wanna get a, just a good grade right off the bat, that's gonna be as good as possible, this is a great way of doing it. So you wanna make sure that the color card is lit properly and that you have enough of it in frame that you can do the color check with. So I'm gonna to go to my color page and all the way on the left here I have the color match so I'm gonna click on that and doesn't really look like it does anything so you have to go to the little pull down menu here go to color chart now it's going to put the chart on the screen and what we have to do is make sure that uh, down here we have the right color card so I use the color checker passport video, so I'm gonna select that. And I can see that the colors match the ones that are on my card. And now I'm just gonna line up this grid so that the squares in the grid line up to the colors on the card. Only takes a second here. And we wanna make sure that they're lined up good, that they're not overhanging or anything these are all pretty well centered here and then I just come down and click match that's it I now have what I know is going to be a good solid base grade now let's go ahead and turn this on and off a few times so we can see what it did and it really uh, my lighting there really affected like the browns the red really dramatically on the red uh, not so much on the blues and the greens there a little bit but you know not too bad now I know that I had my light set up that it was turned on a little warmer than neutral just so I could make sure that there was going to be some difference when I selected this and my camera was set on auto white balance so it got pretty close on everything uh, this was with a Sony a7 III by the way so but I turn it on and now I know my colors are gonna be really good and I can start doing my color grade. I may have to you know, play with my exposure a little bit, but uh, you can see I was actually exposed pretty good here. So that's it. If you have one of the supported color cards, doing a simple color grade is only a matter of seconds. So I know this was a quick video and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you've got one of these color cards, it can really save you a bunch of time. So thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Thanks, everybody, for helping push over a 1,000 subscribers. Really appreciate that. And uh, as always, click on that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new video, which is about once a week. And we always try and have really good content. Have any suggestions on things that you'd like to see? Be sure and uh, drop us a line, and we'll do what we can to get a video out for you. So again, thanks for watching. We will catch you next time. Bye-bye.